I am Dr. Zafrullah Chowdhury from Bangladesh. I was trained as a vascular surgeon, now turned into a health activist since 1972. Uh, I am working for the organization called Gono Shasta Kendra. Gono Shasta Kendra means People's Health Center. How to provide health care to the vast masses, especially in a country like Bangladesh. So what we are involved in, increasing capacity building, empowering people so that they can handle global issues at a local experience and local expertise. And this cannot be handled without women. Women is the key to development. Another key issue is the fate of the poor. It decides the fate of the country. If poor are doing better, country will be doing better. If women progresses, country will be progressing, especially more so in a Muslim country like Bangladesh, where 85% people are Muslim. About women, Islam is not the most generous. So that is very important issue we handle. The right livelihood award is that really exactly what we are talking in the village. The life, what is the embodiment of the life of the masses. It is that it is talk about a human life free from the greed and fighting against the multinational exploitations. So rightly livelihood award is the first is the organization this award denotes alternatives, way of thinking. So it is a very important thing. Unlike a Nobel Prize, which is very embodied for the five different things, but here it's really a people's aspirations, people's struggle. These are more reflected in the right, in the right livelihood award. Uh, the right to the blue hood award inspired us, but in fact, it helped us to continue what we are thinking and what we are doing. Uh, by meeting the other hundreds of Nobel laureates time to time, it gives us the courage, courage to continue the struggle and for the betterment of the people. And what Better world is the first, the Western imperialisms, which is now governed by the multinational greed and exploitation. Third world countries have to understand that. Even the first world countries, because one reason if you really consider globally, people are people are living longer, growing old, who is going to would be looking after them. So there is an interdependence of the third world and the first world. And the, today's economic depression of the Western world is, is, is not only the failure of the, the capitalist economic system, it is the winning of the multinational greed. Multinational corruptions, exploitation and bribery is causing the whole global problem we consider. And the same greed is also entered into third world politicians. Third world politics is totally ruled by the business people. Business people are the people of greed. People who feels, who doesn't feel any ashamed, who doesn't be, uh, to exploit the people. 